Hello and welcome to my new video. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Lex and this is my island, Xenia, where I'm here sitting with Kiki. Quick self-care check, make sure you're drinking water, taking your meds, and having a beautiful day. I'm going to be doing a kind of ideas video here. This is going to be my process for designing an island from scratch. How do I plan out my island? How do I start terraforming? How do I know where I'm going to put things? All of that will be revealed in this video. If you like content like this, please do consider liking and subscribing. And also, news for the day before we get started. I don't know if you recognize this house, but someone so kindly gave me Henry. It's our king, the smug frog that is my birthday twin. I will run around the island and try to find him, but look how cute he is. His little face, you can see it here at the bottom. Little Henry, I love him. I love him already. I actually haven't spoken to him since he moved in because I didn't play yesterday, but he is walking around the island and let me see if I can find him. In conclusion, I was gonna let you all vibe to me just running around, but I literally had time to talk to like almost all of my villagers, clean up the beach, uh, shop at Nook's Cranny, and all sorts of things before I actually found this little frog man. He was really hiding, but I do end up finding him in Able Sisters. This is to be expected, of course. He is a smug villager. He is in tune with fashion. Look at him go if Mabel would get the heck out of the way. He is so cute. He is absolutely precious. And I've really been missing Frobert ever since I deleted Lost Falls. So it's nice to have another frog villager. Also, how cute would he be in this outfit? I'm gonna buy it so that when I can give him a gift, we'll give it to him. Something to look forward to a plan for the future. Anyway, I think it is about time to get right into this ideas process as I figure out what I'm going to wear, so let's do it. This was actually a highly requested video across a lot of video comments and in my Twitter post where I asked what you all would like to see yesterday. Uh, so you might be thinking, well, how do I get started terraforming? And the answer is simple. Don't. Just kidding, but something to remember for today is that this is my process for designing an island, specifically not an island I do on YouTube since I do speed builds for those, but for islands like Lorien, this is what I do. So remember, if you do your islands differently, that's completely valid. This is just how I have found it easiest to stay inspired and motivated to build my island. So the first thing for me is deciding, do I want a theme? I'll splash some themes up on the screen for you to look at to see if you like any of those if you are looking for one right now. But just to mention, you don't have to have a theme. A lot of you know that for Zinnia, I don't plan on having one cohesive theme, but I do think they can be super helpful if you're having trouble visualizing your island or coming up with ideas. I think they can serve as an inspiration because for instance, if your island is city themed, you might think, oh, I want a gas station or oh, cities have skylines, let me include one of those. Once I have decided on a theme, step two for me is to decide are there areas on my map that are important for future builds that I can predict already? So for instance, things you can't move, are they going to factor into your builds? These include things like the pier, residence services, and the secret beach, for instance. Things like those that are immovable can often influence how I terraform other parts of the island in terms of accessibility to those immovable areas. After I've decided that, I kind of start to draw out any ideas that I have. Like if I know for certain how I'm going to design Nook's Cranny, I'll go ahead and draw that. An example for Antilia would be the villager neighborhood. Here is my drawing for that area. And here is how that area actually turned out. 
I was really proud of it. It was really helpful to have it sketched out already to know kind of the dimensions for everything and where I wanted to place specific furniture items. So that's super helpful. And also grids. If you have grid paper or you put the grid on Procreate, you can treat each part of the grid as a block. And that too really helps you to map out the dimensions for what you want to build and make sure you have a good plan in your head before you get started. Next up in the Lex method trademark, what I always do first is go around and terraform the entire island. Obviously for my YouTube islands, I do speed builds in, you know, small specific areas, but for islands that I do behind the scenes, I always terraform everything before I even start moving buildings. So an important aspect of that is that I'm going to always map out building dimensions. So moving buildings back and forth can be really costly. The same goes for bridges. I always map these items out by using custom design so I know exactly how much space they're going to take up. And an example of when I did this would be the original Lorien that I built. I completely finished the island before I started moving things unless I was completely certain that I wanted that building there. I just went ahead and terraformed everything and went back through to start doing other things that would really complete the island. The next step in my personal process is that I begin moving buildings. Very simple. I put them where I have already designated with custom design, so I already know they're going to fit, which is great. If you know me, if you've been around for a while, you know I try to put as many buildings as possible on the beach, but obviously they don't all stay there. I move them where I want them to be. The beaches are always what I conquer last anyway, so this just helps me be able to terraform everything I want to terraform. There are exceptions, obviously, in my process. On occasion, I do place houses or buildings early before I finish terraforming just because they're either in the way or, like I said, I'm sure I'm going to keep them there. So. That is a very important part of my process is just moving the buildings where they need to go, getting them situated and making sure that they still fit with the theme I wanted for them. Last, but certainly not least, as I mentioned before, moving buildings and decorating is what comes last. So once I am happy with the general layout of my island and everything that has gone on with it, I'm ready to decorate. This is possibly the most fun part of Animal Crossing, at least for me. I absolutely love decorating. Uh, I just think a finished island is so satisfying and it's cool to watch it come together, you know, one piece at a time, the way my YouTube islands come together, but it's also really cool to just see everything already terraformed and gradually bring that terraforming to life with decor, with furniture, with flowers, trees, shrubs, everything. I just think that's such a fun process. It's so cool to watch your island become full and whole. All of that said, of course, everyone's island process is going to be unique to them based on how it is most fun to play the game. I can't stress that enough. The easiest way to finish your island is to play in a way that makes you enjoy it. How are you going to have the most fun? If it's like my process goes, amazing. I'm so glad that we have that in common, but every process is valid. Every way to play the game is valid. And if you don't even play to have an aesthetic or complete in, you know, aesthetic terms island, that's totally valid too. This game is meant to be fun, not a stressful chore. So just remember that when you're trying to pressure yourself to finish an island, you have time and I hope that you can continue to enjoy the game. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time with some other video. Who knows? Let me know in the comments if your process is similar to mine or if you have a process that's very different. What is it? Here's Peaches to tell you all goodbye until next time. Oh my gosh, guys, we went to Carowinds finally and I got to go on Fury 325 and it was the most fun thing ever and I went on it twice and we went on so many other ones and they were so fun but anyways I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video bye